seen anyone run away from real love. I've seen a lot of people run away from the church and the judgment that we have. But we've never loved someone like Jesus did and they ran away. My wife here, her main fan base is probably 80% homosexual. They know we love Jesus. They come to our shows. They laugh at our Jesus jokes. They accept the Jesus in us. But it's because we love them. And we know at some point God's going to work with them. Amen. Not us. Well, I'm not going to write a song and she's not going to tell a joke that's going to magically wake them into what we feel that they should be doing. But when you love them, it opens the opportunity for God to work in them. And that's just how we live our life. And also love with no agenda. Don't try to love someone to change them into what you feel is right for them. You just love them. That's it. That's so good. That's so rich too, because I feel like in Hawaii we have um, a big demographic of that. Um, lifestyle as well as there's a lot of people here that may not even have Christian friends in school or workplace so I think learning how to how do you be a Christian in and not of it how do you be the hands and feet of Jesus but not you're not the one that's changing the heart you're just a conduit to love to show them grace to show them mercy and to hopefully eventually love them so that Jesus can help love them well, they can accept Jesus' love through the love that they've experienced. And it will happen. Yeah. I was on tour with her, and I remember we, we did a tour, and we just did all clubs. Just clubs. It was not a church tour by any means. And we were in San Francisco in the Bay, and I remember we put up our Instagram video, 15-second video. And I wasn't even in the video, but I posted it on my group on crew page. The amount of hatred that came after that on how I was not saved because I'm doing shows in clubs and all this stuff, right? So much so, I got so much hatred for it that there was a very well-known singer that if I said her name, you know who she is. She was gonna be on my record, you know? And ended up not, it, not, it ended up not happening because of this 15 second video, right? And so I'm like, wow, it was judged so hard, but nobody knew that in that same show that I was outside of the club praying and preaching for 20 non-believers. Nobody knew. And it was the one Instagram video that everyone hated me for, disliked me, and basically disowned me. But I was outside preaching and leading people to Jesus. Wow. Well, thank you for that courage because I feel like if you read and like Angela was saying, love like, just be Jesus. And I think you have to actually read the scriptures to understand what that means. Look up in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, any of those books, just read how Jesus loved. And I think that that will give you a great p picture of that, but I feel like you guys are doing that. So thank you. Thank you for living out the lives that you are. It's not easy, it's not always fun, and it comes with sacrifice. But man, I know that your guys' is your board in heaven is great. And thank you. Thank you so much. Um, one, more, one more, we'll squeeze one more in. Um, Last question, did you save sex till marriage and how do you continue to keep God at the center of your relationship? Wow. <laughs> Define sex, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> how far can you go? No, I'm kidding. We did, actually, we waited till we were married. Yeah. Um, Kept it holy. Yeah, we waited till we were married to each other. This guy. I know, I was wilding out, I'm sorry. This guy, before him. Before Jesus, pre-Jesus. Pre-Jesus. I was a little hellion. Yeah, before God. <laughs> before God, I was here. looking for love in all the wrong places. No fun girl, just ugly faces. Um, I, was, I was looking before God, and then I met her. And you, but you know what, what the key factor was? Cause I was the type of dude that I love romance. So I, to me it was like, don't start none, won't be none. Like I wasn't a guy that looked to try to get down with a girl. Like I just wasn't. I was all like, I wanna love her and I wanna, and I was such like a hopeless romantic. But the turning point in my life when I knew my wife was it is that she, she was so hardcore about her convictions. Like she made me leave. Every time we were hanging out, there was a curfew. Like 10 o'clock, I was out. She kicked me out. Like, <laughs> there was never a time where she bent on that. She was like, oh, time to go. And I was, a couple of times I was, I was like, dang, girl, like, whatever. <laughs> I was like, she's so mean. 
but she was trying to keep us holy and I respected that. Like it was so attractive. I was like, wow, nobody does this. Yeah, you know, and that's why it was funny because Jeff was saying some girls, they bend a little bit and they think that by compromising their beliefs that they're gonna get the guy to stay. But man, when a girl just stands up and values what she has and who she is, it was so attractive. Because you know what that meant? That meant that she's not gonna fold when it comes to the real things in life. And when you get married, you go through some real things and you need a woman that's gonna stand up and be like, what? I'm not, I'm not folding on my convictions. It's not gonna happen. And that's what she did and it was amazing. Thanks, babe. Tell somebody how to do it. <laughs> Can we thank Mangelo? So, really great answer. So, Maddie said that he will continue to answer any questions that have been submitted that haven't been answered at your Twitter account, at Manuel Reyes. Is that correct? And so, if you